Joris Grotmann's Leiden University Medical Center, tailoring the foreign body response for in situ vascular tissue engineering. Good afternoon, everyone. In the next three minutes, I would like to show you how you can make your own blood vessel in your own human body. And you might think at the moment I don't need it, but I'm, you can call me back uh, once you develop severe peripheral arterial disease or end stage renal disease, because at that time you definitely need a peripheral bypass graft or a hemodialysis excess. And the currently used prosthetic grafts have very poor patency, as you can see on this uh, slide. So there's an urgent need for novel autologous tissue engineered blood vessels. We use a technology where we utilize the foreign body response to implanted polymeric rods uh, to create these new blood vessels, just like a pearl is formed in an oyster in response to the introduction of a grain of sand. So we insert a polymeric rod in the subcutaneous space where the uh, actual vascular graft is needed, and about four weeks later we remove the rod and we use the tissue capsule that's formed around the rod to create a new blood vessel. And you've seen from the sharks uh, this morning that the surface, for instance, of the rods really determines uh, how the cells respond to it. So we first screened a lot of surface modifications to get the optimal response. And you see that it really affects the tissue capsule formation in terms of thickness and composition. We then moved to a larger animal model where we inserted these polymeric rods in, uh, in pigs in the subcutaneous uh, space, as you can see in the upper leper, uh, leper, left upper panel. They were strong enough so the burst pressure is above 2,000 millimeters mercury and we grafted these uh, tissue capsules in the carotid artery. Here you can see, hopefully if it works, an example of the procedure where the tissue is formed around the subcutaneous rod. Here we remove the rod together with the tissue and you can see that it's very easy to remove the, the tissue from the polymeric rod. So this is four weeks after implantation, which is much faster than the six months of in vitro procedures that are done usually. We check for leakage, so if there's no leakage and of course and the burst pressure is strong enough, we implant it here in the carotid artery and you can see here that it's an interposition graft in the carotid. Then of course we also looked at the histology and in the upper panel you see how the tissue capsule looked before grafting where there are some inflammatory cells left and also some fibroblasts but after grafting, so upon exposure of uh, flow and pressure, you see that the tissue really trans differentiates towards an arterial phenotype as a illustrated by the expression of uh, various smooth muscle cell markers, as well as an endothelial lining, which was observed at the uh, luminal side of the brain. <coughs> so we believe that you can grow your own vessel in the subcutaneous space. We have seen very uh, interesting uh, patency results on the short term in uh, pigs. We're now working on long-term uh, grafting studies in uh, large animal models of arteriovenous grafting, and we'll hopefully start our clinical trials next year. So thank you very much for your attention.